Welcome back my duelist friends, Casual Duelist here. It's finally Friday and Friday means we're back to Edison format with another deck. And I did promise you guys a cool uh, Six Samurai build. There is only one substitution in this deck. Again, it is Magical Android due to pricing reasons. Um, this deck does, I believe, come from the, uh, the, the, the Edison format, Edison... Uh, tournament. I'm not sure what placing it is. Uh, my wife got the notes for me. Celestial did her best. She got me the duelist's name, and that is Money Smith. So this is Money Smith's Six Samurai from Edison Format. It is another historical deck. This time it's going to be a 41 card main deck, which is not unusual for samurai. And uh, it's got some really good options, and it's missing a couple of cards. Even I would have been playing. So we'll see. Let's get to get you guys a deck. So first and foremost, three copies Grandmaster. Uh, you may only be able to control one of these face up at a time, but as long as you have another six samurai, this is a free special summon. Uh, when this card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, uh, you get to add one six samurai from the graveyard to your hand. Now, at one point, and here's the strike of Neos. Do 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 do. Destroyed by opponent's card effect. Yeah, so it was always that way. Um, it's good stuff, and uh, again, he helps us get a lot of combos off. Uh, next up, we play three copies, Hand of the Six Samurai. Um, she's a nice little three-star, 1600, if you control another Six Samurai monster. And this is going to be, for the most part, a lot of Six Samurai cards are going to say uh, they get their effect if there's another Six Samurai card. Um, and in this case, the effect is to tribute one Six Samurai monster, select a monster card on the field, and destroy that card. Um, could select self, yes. Uh, I don't think, think it says tribute one other card, so that's all fine. The rest of them are the original D6 Samurai. So just for clarification, uh, they only get their effect if there's another six Samurai on the field. And if they would be destroyed, we can choose to destroy a different six Samurai, not the one that would be destroyed. So again, if you attack Arrow... Uh, we could choose to let Hand die instead. Um, the effect of Iru, very familiar effect. Mystic Swordsman, uh, level 2 plus Sasuke Samurai. They have this effect. The effect is they attack face down defense. They destroy the card without a flip. Uh, come on here, uh, whose fighting style is literally dynamite, is to be able to target a face up spell trap once per turn to destroy again. Must have one of his brothers with him to do this. Next, we have the Archer, Yaichi. Um, at least I think it's Yaichi. Um, this one is the sort of like MST Nightbeam of them. Uh, this one targets set spell traps, which is why we went 3-1. I'm assuming that was the, uh, the goal was to clear up the back row before we get as far as the battle phase in order to do our job. And I'm going to flex with this next one because these are the Hobby League uh, Zanjis. And I'm actually going to take one slightly out, just, just to flex a little bit, because of how cool I think these are. These have this really nice prismatic effect to them. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like them. Me and my friends won these three copies three weeks in a row from our locals. And uh, they were very nice. They helped me bling out my deck back then. Um, and what Zanji's effect is, is as long as one of his brothers is still standing... Um, when he attacks during the, after the end of the battle step, even if he didn't destroy the monster by battle, he will destroy the monster by effect. So again, this helps clearing things like Marshmallow and Spirit Reaper, or running into something that's way bigger than you, letting him take the L, um, but take the other card with him. So very cool stuff. Um, one thing that's notable that I didn't see in here was Shogun Shien. And... Uh, I probably would have been playing Shogun Shien. Um, there's no re I don't think there's a reason. It should have been in Tactical Evolution. Um, but hey, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, yeah, I could be wrong. Um, moving into the spells. Three copies Gateway because this is pre-Storm of Ragnarok. So we don't have any of the Secret Six yet. We don't have a Tuner. We don't have the Synchro. We don't have all those shenanigans yet. Um, so the gateway to six, perfectly legal back then. And again, it's going to have three different effects based on how many Bushido counters you uh, take off your side of the field. Uh, every time a samurai monster or monsters would be played, it gets two counters. 
For two counters, a Shien or Samurai monster can gain 500 attack. Uh, for four counters, you can go ahead and add a Samurai from the grave or hand or deck to the hand. And for six, you can target a Shien effect monster in the graveyard and special summon the target back. Um, which is good because like there's a Shien Squire eventually that is a tuner um, that makes quick work of some of the levels. Uh, we are going to run a single Heavy Storm because reasons. Two Shrinks because we want to make sure Yaichi stays around. Um, again, between that hand and Iru, um, these guys kind of take damage. So, uh, Shrink definitely going to help out the crew. Um, three copies, Sam Unites. You guys should be familiar with this. Holds up the two Bushido counters. Every time a Samurai monster monsters are played to the field, it gains counter. Holds max two. Sack the card. Based on amount of counters held, draw X. So, you could do it for a draw one or a draw two. Next up, this card really makes the deck pop. Three copies of Solidarity. So again, as long as we only have Warriors in the discard pile, all of our Warriors are going to gain 800 per copy of Solidarity. And again, this is the reason why we only double with the Shrinks instead of triple, is because we want to we want to get the permanent boost over the temporary negative uh, the temporary negative for the opponents. Um, the Hazard is fine, uh, but we want like more of a solid boost. This brings all of our characters up to like. 2000 because i think yaichi is the weakest at 13 this is going to bring him up to 21 so everybody's able to handle their business at this point uh next up warrior returning alive again this helps us get back uh, certain key cards again if you had to let zanji go so that the effect would activate uh it's a good way to re you know return zanji again we only use the one copy come on um this is another thing that we could just do we just grab that um, I do notice that there's no reinforcement of the army, and you know what? I didn't check the ban list before I did this video. I'm just trusting my wife on the deck list. So again, like one reinforcement of the army probably would not have hurt this deck. It just would have made all of my little guys a little more searchable. Um, next up, card I love, Backs to the Wall. This card is great. Between this and Double-Edged Sword Technique, um, they were just good cards. This makes you pay life points till you have 100 left. Special summon as many six same as you can with different names from the graveyard back to the field. Uh, you cannot special summon a monster that's already on the field. Um, again, backs to the wall, much like the uh, the name suggests, is sort of like the last ditch effort for you and your crew to go at your opponent's hit points. Um, after that, we do have the Call of the Haunted. Uh, obvious. Uh, triple Dimensional Prison. Again, Stardust Dragon, like really really is like an apex predator during this time period so you have to have continuous amounts of outs for him uh single mirror force which is again good light good stuff um solemn judgment at one because it's again solemn judgment three copies of starlight road because once you start building a board it is your opponent's duty to try to break that board and starlight road at three gives you the best amount of options to try to stop them as well as a single copy of Torrential, just in case they do kind of take the field. Torrential and, M and Mirror Force really help you, like, even the game back out. So this is the 41 card main deck. Again, I don't know what place in uh, Mr. Smith had, but I do know that, again, like, I probably would have been playing Shogun Shien. Um, I probably would have a reinforcement of the army, but again, my, I guess I'm not 100% sure. Um, so this is the main deck, like it or love it, uh, screen caps or pause with notes, and I'll be back with the extra deck in just a moment. All right, now I'm back with the extra deck. Now, before I start flipping any of the extra deck cards, I do have some notes sitting here about what was in the side deck. So this is going to make some of this a little more understanding. The side deck at the time consisted of two times Cyber Dragon, two times DD Crow, one times Cayman, uh, three times Dimensional Fisher, one times MST, one times Smashing Ground, three times Dust Tornado, and three times, or sorry, two times uh, Light Imprisoning Mirror. So not a bad setup. It definitely wants to get rid of things like uh, Dark Arm Dragon, Black Wings, and it's an absolute counter to Light Sworn. I don't see, well... I don't see too many options that are going to go against Gladiator Beast in this deck. 
uh, except the D prisons, but those are already in the main, so I guess no harm, no foul, right? So now that we've said that the rest of this the extra deck is going to make sense because it starts off with three Chimera Tech Dragons. So rather than wait for his opponent to actually drop a Cyber Dragon, it's easier for him to sideboard them. And then if he ends up against something like Gadgets, which could, uh, Gadgets of Machina, could build up a big board real quick. Um, instead, he could just offer them all real quick and have a very big monster for himself, which is cool. Uh, the next card would be the Ally of Justice Catastrophe for obvious reasons. And then it would be the Magical Android that I'm using a second Ally of Justice Catastrophe for because my reasons uh, don't have it. Uh, next up, Ancient Fairy Dragon at one because, again, she does a great job of getting rid of field spells. You get the extra normal sum, and there's tons of reasons to want to play her. Uh, the Armory Arm was included in this deck, and again, it's a great four star option. Uh, never, never discount this thing. Um, I go so far as to say it's like one of the best low level synchros uh, ever printed because it's just a, it's good stuff. Uh, one Black Rose again, Black Rose Field Detonation is great. Bryanak again, original Bryanak of the time period. Uh, you could choose to do different sets of how many cards you're bouncing. Um, and again, it's a great option to just get rid of other synchro monsters. It's a good way to get rid of Stardust Dragon before you want to start doing destroy effects. Um, just good stuff. Uh, next up, Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth. Again, good card, great card. And, uh, you know, I'm actually, like, thinking about this, like... I don't understand how he's making any of these synchros because thinking back on the deck list, there were no tuners and it's not like we played brain control. It's not like brain control was part of the side deck. Um, so I guess he's just flexing what he owned. Uh, go, yo guardian, good card, great option, I guess, uh, mist worm. And then the, the playable card is the three copies of Stardust dragon through the three copies of starlight road. Uh, so I guess he could have walked in with a six card extra deck and been fine. I don't see any, any time where he's actually going to be able to generate a tuner. Um, so wh whatever, it's the historic deck list. You guys can look this up online. Um, he did run with all this stuff, but really he just needed these, these six, um, like it or love it. That's, that's what it is. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. If you did. Um, if you like that slow melt as I like slowly descend into uh, insanity, as I realize um, you, I, I'm talking about a bunch of, a bunch of cards I didn't even need to. Um, yeah. Do the things. Don't do the things. You guys do the one thing. It's about to be the weekend. I want you guys to go out. I want you guys to do something for yourself. Uh, consider it a mental health day. I want you guys to go and do something that you enjoy, something that you've been putting off. And I want you to do it for you. Okay. I want you guys to do that. I want you guys to come back on the next video. I want you guys to have a great time. So until then, you guys take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next. Later.